The Air Force's Remote Sensing Systems Directorate, or RS, has a big mission. RS provides missile warning to protect the United States and her allies against theater and global ballistic missile attacks. RS infrared sensors and weather data have a direct impact supporting combatant commanders and the warfighter. RS is part of the Space and Missile Systems Center, SMC, headquartered at Los Angeles Air Force Base, where the acquisition mission takes place. But there is another side to RS. The Remote Sensing Systems Directorate also has geographically separated units, or GSUs, located at Colorado Springs, Colorado, Peterson Air Force Base in scenic Colorado Springs is home to a group of RS professionals who quietly and dutifully oversee a variety of critical mission sets such as cyber sustainment. So I'm responsible for ensuring that the satellites, the, the cyber satellites, are available for operations. We can detect the missiles and we can give the folks, our personnel either overseas or at home, we can give them warnings of what's coming and, and the threat, the potential threats. SIBRS, space-based infrared system satellites, replace the legacy DSP satellites and provide commanders with data in four important areas. Strategic missile warning, theater missile warning, battle space awareness, and technical intelligence. One of the major concerns from a, a first strike uh, perspective is uh, someone doing a, a HEMP type of attack, which stands for High Altitude Electromagnetic Pulse Attack. Essentially, they would detonate a nuclear weapon uh, in the atmosphere above the United States, and the EMP burst from that would wipe out the majority or at least a significant portion of unshielded electronics. So the system is designed to be hardened against that and be able to operate through that environment so that they couldn't take out our critical C2 nodes for strategic missile warning with a single attack. The Overhead Persistent Infrared, or OPIR data, provides a persistent view of Earth as weather events unfold. SIBR's OPIR data has even been used to help combat forest fires. Which has been really great and close to home for us here in Colorado with the Hayman Fire and the Waldo Canyon. So we've seen this, we've used it, it's been very good. So the uses that we're getting out of SIBR's data that hasn't been seen before have been really good. Our primary role here is to sustain the SIBRS ground system and the SIBRS satellite systems. Sustainment incorporates all sorts of things. It's not just the mechanical pieces on the ground, but it's the communications that, that we have to get from the other side of the, of the Earth. So satellites that are in uh, geosynchronous orbit have to communicate uh, to us over here in, in Colorado. So we have to send that data down through these comm systems back to the processing stations at Buckley Air Force Base. And at that point, the data is processed. We create a, a message that goes out for use by the combatant commanders and, and, uh, and other theater users. I'm very proud to be a part of this mission. I uh, love working for RSS. Uh, great people, great mission. For the United States Air Force, so uh, it, it's a fun program to work on. IGS collects ionospheric data, forwards that off to the weather community, who in turn passes that off to the warfighter. Here in uh, Colorado Springs, we're the sustainment arm. And our software uses the forecast-based weather to support on um, DOD missions. Uh, a lot of these folks on this side of the house have been around for quite a while. Well, sustainment is maintaining the existing system that, that's been purchased, modernizing it, and keeping it viable for years to come. So being around these folks is definitely beneficial. It helps us out quite a bit. This is Laura. Absolutely. I, I would, could definitely support it. Okay, see you then. Thank you. Bye. The geographically separated units of RS proudly serve the Air Force mission. The efforts of these men and women of Colorado play a major role in the success of the Space and Missile Systems Center, the global leader in space acquisition excellence. <laughs>